Yes, we finally have a series in our hands, guys. <laughs> exactly. So let's head on over to the draft. So it's a Senil bat. It could oh! There you go. <laughs> awesome, awesome. There they you go. They are now scared of Chognar here. Yeah. So Zephyrus is a priority. I guess they don't want to use the the Mira. They're more comfy with this composition. If they're gonna to rip, not really repair, try uh, do the same thing. Then probably we're gonna pro we're gonna see Slims, and um, maybe the 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 what do you call this Slims and, and Lumia. Lumia, right? Uh, although I like the Violet pickup on the other side and the Irene. I think no solutions might go, might be the ones to go for the split push. Wow, split push is the name of the game today, isn't it? I like, wonder if uh, you know the, this team NZG will pick Illumia again. Oh, Murad! Hello, okay. hello, Murad! I love this because because the Irie was taken away. That's also a good um, alternative. Murad is open. Why not get the Murad instead? So, Malak. On the other hand, they're gonna try the same rotation. Because they're the ones pick the Malok pick. Yes. Lumber Whoa, as well. lumber! I like this. I like the lumber. Uh, it, it'll enable a lot of the mal the lumber Malok combination is gonna enable a lot for this Violet and this Irie. Let's see if they'll be able to take advantage of that. Again, double heals on those tanks. Love it. Triple punish on the other side, though. With that Slims, Murid, mm -hmm. Zephyrs. It looks like they want to snowball oh as early God, as wow. possible. Here Illumia. again, I want to say something about this Illumia pick. I think I'm Red really believing already play. that this is actually a comfort pick. You know, yes. because they're, they're not picking any other mages. It's always Illumia. Yeah. So I'm thinking, why not Alice? Why not, you know, other <laughs> mages? That There's so Tina. many others <laughs> that you can use. Come but on, guys. I feel like it's... Just as Does this said, fit? It's a comfort pick and it fits so well with the rest of their hero pool, with their composition. It's it's a very game one, game two, it's the same. Except that Chognar is not going to be a problem anymore as it's being taken away. And they can still do the split push with the Murad, with the Zephyrus. And they can still do... They can, the, do, the comp they can do composition fights, like yeah. with the Mina. Yeah, with uh, the that Mina. Can, they, you can do that. Mina flickers in. And you can have those mul they, they, those people that just distract them, right? Yeah. Using the Mina. The, they, there's so many ways that NZG could win this. I'm actually quite impressed with their draft. Yeah, because th what they've been doing uh, at times, especially at the mid phases of the game, where they try to do the four, the one four rotation, where the four man squad will have the Slims, get the Spear on the stun, activate Illumia ult, Zephyrus comes from above, death from above, Absolutely. and then just. Try to bake a pick to objective, so they could do that. Absolutely, and at this point, I think at least they have at least two ways to pull the mm -hmm. trigger. Um, on the other side, though, uh, what do you think about the? This I think they want to be at. This is like a death ball composition this time, right? I think no solutions have go, went for the death ball with this Malik and Lumber. I think it's kind of risky to pull against NG, NZG because I think they can see it coming. Uh, they will be able to answer this with the. With the with the split push hump that they drafted, it's just that I guess it's gonna be up to all up to ex execution at this point. Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm super excited. Don't forget, there's also the Irie that can also split push there and take go. and steal objectives as well. So anyway, let's head on over to game number three. I'm passing it over to our casters, Butters and Asurai. Let's go. We have reached. A third game, Butters. And this is a milestone for PPG. <laughs> hey, <laughs> yeah. hey, man. I mean, all these teams have shown that they have what it takes to be, to, you know, yep. to be on the top seed. And both of these teams right now, NZ, uh, NZ Gaming as well as No Solution, is, are like showing themselves to fight for that spot. One for one apiece. This is going to be it. Uno to uno, mano e mano, and come o sama come o, come o sama come o, and I mean just like there's so much fight potential for no solution. Asa na naman buenas dias. Oh, mama mia. Lagi siyang nahuhuli. Siya yung laging nagtatagpuan dito. Yeah. Well, kung buenas dias talaga yung pangalan. Oh, oh. slick plays, resetting the the buff just to delay no solution there as the other members of NZ Gaming will be going up against the Irie and the Malak while Mina goes into the lane to absorb a little bit of XP here and maybe actually uh, go with his comrades and maybe look for a pick. Looks like it's going to be a no. What do you think about this in a lineup? 
Uh, I do think... Uh, anong side dito? Um, NZ Gaming. NZ Gaming. I do think dito na yung Illumia talaga, hindi na talaga binibitawan. Then, uh-huh. meron silang Mina dito, which I think is a very good um, combination exactly. with the Illumia. And they do have them red this time around. So, I do think yung stun na magagawa dito ni Illumia, the the Mirad can actually use temp- temporal turbulence to actually take advantage of that. And uh, I think that is good. But dito na nga mga kaibigan, Buenas Diaz dito with the stun. Pero I don't think it will be enough to save him. Uses and, the restore uh, though. Pero hindi kakayanan. Four members rotated there into the top lane by no solution. Into the bottom lane though, we have seen how the Slims can actually deal so much insane damage if left uh, unattended to. And while he is, he's gonna be going up against the Lumber. But at the end of the day, wala pa rin tumat- tumatalo dito ngayon. Or rather, wala pa rin nag- try mag-tether in nitong uh, Slims ito. And being in the solo lane is definitely gonna help him out reach that next level. We're about to hit level 4 as we are hitting that 2 minute mark as well as the first Abyssal Dragon to come up, to come online. And this could be a very uh, good objective for our teams. And I actually like dito yung armor pick sa kabila. Pero ito na nga, nakikita nyo, the Hila, the pool mga kaibigan at malok dito will get stopped in his tracks and Ormar will try to take down Illumia though. pero Illumia dito with a flicker but still she will go down he got oh, what that was happening? interesting he went overly aggressive when he didn't have to he should have just backed away there oh. might have actually uh, might have actually overextended a little bit mm-hmm. or maybe connection issues because there was a pause by the blue pero, team but yeah. Parang aso kayo ito ngayon pinaka uh-huh. problema ng NC Gaming. They do have good setup with the Mina and the Illumia. Pero kasi ang pinaka problema sa akin ito is si Lumber at si Malok. Mm-hmm. If ever makuha nila yung proper initiation nila, if they don't catch Malok or they don't catch Lumber at the same time, there is always the the threat of a counter initiation. And Ems dito will go face to face with the Mina. Matik, matik na yun. Na talagang hindi niya hahayaan yung Mina dito na makahanap ng position for the pull. Then after the pull, you know that uh, the Illumia ult will come next. So I do think na si Bella dito or si Malok will actually stay at the back lines. Kahit pa paano, just wait for the initiation. Then just go for the counter initiation. Yeah, but think of it this way then. I do like... I mean, you already pointed out one difficulty for NC Gaming to yep. overcome, right? Yep. But I think that's gonna be... Sp- Stopped a little bit by the Slims and the Murad. Yep, yep. If the Slims can connect his stun and then follows up by the Murad, assassinates at least the Violet, that's gonna be a huge thing. Kahit man, sabihin natin na... Counter-initiate. Oh, kahit man counter-initiate sila, if they can still do that before the counter-initiate happen or damage. even after, they should be able to make something happen yep. because exactly, they don't have the damage yep. without the Violet. And uh, ang pinakamagiging damage output na lang nila doon kapag nangyari yun si Airy. Mm. Then again, si Airy dito... Melee hero, so you can actually well, take oh. down one by uh, yung heroes dito ng NZ one by one. Hindi katulad ng Violet na he can actually change targets, uses um tumble to actually gain range, then actually yeah. go for the kill on the back lines. Exactly. And that's just gonna make it super difficult for No Solution. But at the end of the day, No Solution has an easier composition to to work with. They have so much AoE damage and so much catch off. Look at that. Josh is actually in the Pretty precarious situation, gets spotted out, and last hit connection there by the Violet, four-man rotation once again. You really do have to give uh, much appreciation to No Solution for just doing this very effective four-man, I uh, know, four-man rotations. 1v1 with the Zephyrus as well as the uh, Irie. Uh, Zephyrus having a little bit and of a bad time there. at Ems. Ems Dito just manning up to the Mina. Yeah. Just not caring about the Mirad na nandun sa taas niya and might Golem Dito. It might go down, pero it might not. Ito yeah. lang nga. I, do, I think na tutuloy ni Sasuke ito kahit nag, ano, nag uh, reset. Dragon, next objective here. It's kind of very low. Is everyone going to be able to get that last hit connection? Oh! Ooh, almost. Almost indeed. Have to back away right now because they could actually immediately get punished by no solution. But good hustle for NZ there. Maybe... A little bit, maybe just one more tick could have actually been allow, allowed them to get that last hit on the Abyssal Dragon. But still, no solution. Really forcing their composition onto NZ. And NZ, well, they don't have the abilities yet to fa- to falter or to fight against that. So they have to falter back first. Alam mo, yung fight later on. Sa, yung gusto ko dito sa side ng no solution, si Bella. Yung lumber niya, kung nakita mo yung gank na kanina doon sa Slims. Yeah. They were, Slims was trying to go to that, ano eh, to that, tower. that way, napapunta sa yeah. lumber. But lumber uses ulti, 
not caring kung tatama o hindi, as long as ma-isolate or maipit nila dito si Slims. And I like that mentality oh. coming out dito from No Solution. Big fight coming out from both of these teams. Ooh. Malak again, once again, into the front line. And this is what we were talking about, the No Solution ultimate team composition just being able to break through so many low target members but nobody will be able to actually get the last hit That's five men still alive josh can actually maybe connect a spear here maybe get the last hit but alas that's no kills for NZ Gaming, and at the end of the day, you have to at least get those kills back just so that you can uh, have a little bit more gold returned to your pockets. Yep. Uh -oh. And counter initiation coming out dito para sa side ng no solution. Actually, having that map lock uses ulti to go to the backlines. Doon nagkakaroon ng onting disarray dito sa side ng NZ kapag ka if everyone ma hit dito yung ulti niya or yeah. yung lumber. Definitely. But uh, still. I think it was a good team fight for NZ. It's just that hindi talaga nila nahuli yung malok doon and uh, the counter initiation happened. Then uh, NZ Gaming just collapsed. Yeah, plus, I mean, they were in such a very tight corridor yep. wherein, you know, the Slims won't really be able to roam freely in the damage department. But in any case, Zephyrus might actually be caught out there, but it's going to be Buenos Dias once again in the middle of the fight. I mean, granted that he's been caught out time and time again, but he has used heroes in the past or in this uh, in this series that have Ooh. that have shown to be, you know, in the fight reliant, wanting to be in the middle of it all. But the problem now, if you check it, is that No Solution is going for that split push potential IRE, stacking up some waves into the top lane, or rather in the DS lane, but in the AB or the AD lane. It's going to be Slims doing the same thing, but he has to back off. doesn't have any vision of his opponents, but his spider senses are tingling, so to speak. And AD Dito will be taken down by No Solution. Oh, will man. they? Will NZ go for a steal? Probably they can, but here comes Inumio oh! with the stun. So but close. still in the back lines, or Mardito with the spin to win. Oh my goodness, Malok with the ulti. And eto na, buenas dias, amigo, mga kaibigan. Josh Dito trying to run away as fast as possible. Sasuke Dito, one more hit. Tingnan natin kung tutumba siya. The ultimate Dito on that Violet. And N just hiding on the brush. And... Uh, Na ang Man, natin biggest dito. problem there for NZ Gaming is that they don't have any AOE damage dealers. I mean, yeah, they do have the pickoffs. Maybe they even have the Zephyrus to follow up, even the Illumia. But they need a marksman who can hit multiple targets at the same time. We have said this, Slims has good damage, but he's going to shine more in skirmishes rather than in these big team fights, yep. where in no solution is just getting connection after connection of the crowd controls, making it super difficult for NZ to find or to even break through this... Uh, this chain of of disables, you yep. know, coming out from no solution, it's super difficult for them to handle. And one of their, ano kasi, ang pinaproblema kasi ng NZ dito, one of their uh, stuns, pero as a rider, is going to be... Turbulence Ooh. activated by the Muhan and grab it. What a good player coming out from this lumbar, enabling Bonus Diaz to actually be in the kill zone of no solution. MGL with some nice zoning potential as well as the Mura diving back into the fight, but it seems like no solution is just shrugging off all of this damage. And while that was happening, both top lane, or rather, both Abyssal Dragon Lane and Dark Slayer Lane are being pushed by the Irie as well as the Slims. So it seems like NZ Gaming, they've kind of given up already on the fact that they can actually win team fights rather than just allowing Slims to farm himself up and put him into a perspective where in his single damage will be enough damage to take out a single target quickly enough. But Dark Slayer is being initiated upon. And Dark Slayer dito mga kaibigan will go down. At uh, Irie joining the fray, just helping out his teammates. And uh... Hmm, I do think that they should regen at this point. Like, uh, go back to the base, regen for a bit, then use Dark Slayer to push out the lanes. I do think they have that they have that capability to win this game right now, but still, yeah, definitely. they need to be very careful. Katulad nga sinabi natin, ang ganda ng counter initiation na ginagawa, counter initiation na ginagawa nila. Pero kasi ang problema pa rin, kapag ka nagawa talaga na itong NG Gaming, yung kanilang uh, initiation na hinahanap, yung... Uh, Hatak with Amina, tapos nahuli niya yung dalawang counter-initiator dito. That might be a problem for the side of no solution. NZ Gaming though, I mean, it's gonna be very difficult for them to actually breach the defenses or the resistances of a team that's already built for, for harassment with a Dark Slayer buff. And, and look at the damage on the tower. Oh my goodness, the Violet is just showing her true stride and that the and at the simult or simultaneously, Irie is actually just pushing the top lane. So it's going to be NZ Gaming 
you know, wondering what's going to happen in top lane as well. Illumi's going to use his ultimate right now, and the damage is actually going to be real as Mina starts it up with a pretty sm smashing ultimate. But it seems like there's still going to be Ooh, well, this, this Irie dealing damage into the backline. Violet's going to be able to take him out, and it's going to be a 3 for 2 exchange. No solution. Kind of got punished there, but the, dam the, dam the turret did take quite a bit of damage. Yes, and I like that ulti. That ulti, wala namang nangyari dun sa ane. Wala namang nangyari setup. It's just that uh, no solution was just being super aggressive, just staying in the lane, not respecting ko ano man yung merong initiation dito, meron ng NZ Gaming. And I think they paid that price uh, quite high. But, yeah. um, alam mo dito, no solution. They still have all the time in the world to take down the towers. Pero, and I mean, this is. NZ Gaming, mm. they got some good kills, but this is a push, or that was a push that No Solution was okay to actually yeah. lose some members. At least they put the damage on the towers, and NZ Gaming, even if they actually won that, they couldn't uh, transition into yeah. an objective, which makes it even difficult because, I mean, they can't see it, but we can. The net worth advantage for both of these teams is staggering. No Solution is already like 7,000 above, 8,000 above yep. of NZ Gaming. And this is very hard for NZ Gaming, just coming back to this game. I mean... They didn't have a kill kanina. It was 0 11 ata, but now yeah. they have three kills. It's a step in the right direction, but still, it's one little step. Yun talaga yung Definitely. problem. Eh. It's like, you know, that uh, that moon quote one, st one small step for a man, another step, a big step Ooh, for humanity. Look at that initiation. Splitter, though, but he dove in a bit too overly aggressive. The Malak is down for the count, so No Solution has to back away for a little bit here. But NZ Gaming can't really go for the chase because if they do, the damage is just surreal from this Violet. If they try to go overly aggressive without having a good plan in mind to start off with Benos Diaz, well, they're just gonna say, you know, goodbye. What's goodbye in Spanish? Uh. Hasta la vista, babe. No, no, no. Hasta la vista, babe. <laughs> That's not it. But still, you know what I'm saying, guys. Vamonos. Vamonos. There you go. <laughs> Come <laughs> on. Vamonos. Hasta la vista, baby. Let's go. Hasta oh, la my vista, goodness. <laughs> Slims. Adios. Adios, amigo. Vamonos is go. Oh, va sa sabi ni... We got debated by, uh, <laughs> by Eric. <laughs> sabi ni ba si Balmonos, si sabi niya. <laughs> Balbi debated us. He, oh. he told us that... <laughs> Adios, mi amigo, pero si MC dito. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness, man. In any case, 12 minutes into the game, 4 to 14, and look at this Morad going in, in the back line so bad, but he actually just goes back into his with his own team. And like I said, Malik's actually going to go in aggressive Ooh. here. Nice counter from the, min, the Mina, and this Ulti. might actually be the opening that NZ Gaming are looking for. The damage is there. Another is Earth player comes out from this, uh, from this Lumbar, and it looks like that gold advantage was enough to actually give them so much items that the tankiness couldn't have been able to break broken through by NZ Gaming. Josh is just gonna go in, buy his lonesome, and he's just basically gonna be, you know, roadkill here for no solution. And you are the only solution for no solution. And they go in winning game number three. And uh, I do think na dun sa last clash, bumalik kasi sila sa true element nila na yeah. si Ayri nandun sa ibang lane. That uh, will uh, like probably pull out two heroes dun sa middle lane just to death on that IRE, but still, uh, props to No Solution. They lost game one, but uh, the reverse sweep dito coming out from them, so very good job. Yeah, I mean, that third game was so clean from them. Like I said, even mm. though they got like, uh, even though NZ Gaming, Net Zone Gaming got three kills, those were kills that was okay to be given by no, no Solution, as long as they got the damage on the tower. Even though they didn't maximize the Dark Slayer buff, at the end of the day, it was, again, no come or no counter objectives those yep. were taken by net zone and that just like put them even further below mm. you know the, the the advantage that uh, no solution got oh, yeah. anyways we're gonna pass it on to our analyst at the desk so Valorians. guys Valorians. so Valorians you know what to do <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much 